from angel investors confusing wireless bras with the internet to just generally asking me, you know, if it was a side project. So my background is in FMCG and I quit my job a couple of years ago to start this D plus underwear company. I've been struggling with uncomfortable underwear for more than a decade and so I decided I'm going to solve the problem myself and we finally launched it in 2020 with our debut product the Freedom Bra which is completely wire free up to double H cup and has amazing support and shape. My inspiration behind Freedom Underwear was really my moaning about uncomfortable underwear for more than a decade. And I know lots of women that struggle with the same problem. So I started to look at the industry and I realized there weren't really any options out there. And I just thought that was ridiculous. Like we wear a bra every single day of our life. Well, give or take the odd Sunday, but that's like 24,000 days. You know, there's hardly another staple in your wardrobe that rivals that. Yet D plus women are like forcing themselves into underwear that's uncomfortable, itchy, painful, because there's nothing out there. And so I decided that the problem was really the fact that underwear wasn't being designed by women for women. I think the biggest challenge to start with was the fact that I had no connections. I have no fashion background. I didn't even have a friend in the fashion industry when I started. So I really didn't know who to go to. You know, I didn't know what I didn't know at that stage. So that was really what I had to focus on was finding the right people who could help bring my idea and my prototype sort of to life. Clearco has been crucial in overcoming that initial momentum problem you have in the first year. So, you know, we got our initial traction and women love the Freedom Bra. And then we wanted to continue that throughout the first 12 months. So being able to have Clearco funding to kind of continue that marketing pipeline has been really critical. Since taking Clearco Capital, our growth increased by 35% the following month. And that grew to a 95% growth over 12 months. Our biggest achievement has to be the reaction to the product by women. It was really nerve wracking to release your product at the beginning, but hearing women's rave reviews and messaging me saying that they've thrown out all their other bras and they want their whole underwear drawer filled with freedom underwear is, is amazing. So my advice to female founders is always to do it. You know, be smart, do your research, speak to your customers out there um, and keep putting one foot in front of the other because before you know it, you can look back and you've built yourself a business.